We've come a long way from a kite, a key, and a thunderstorm. But access to today's electricity hasn't always felt guaranteed. The northeastern United States tonight suffered its worst electric power failure in history. And has details about the blackout and how it affected the lives of millions of New Yorkers last night. And there's also an editorial suggesting what can and should be done to prevent another night of darkness, which is kind of an interesting thought. When Congress, along with public and private utilities, recognized the need for research and development, Dr. Chauncey Starr answered the call. With a vision for an independent, non-profit, collaborative research institute built on science to benefit the public. And in 1972, the Electric Power Research Institute was founded. Work began in 73 with about 100 original members in the U.S. Since then, we've grown to collaborating with more than 450 companies across 45 countries, have secured nearly 2,000 patents, and built a world-class team with unmatched expertise. In the 70s, EPRI led foundational research in ultra-high voltage systems, electric and magnetic fields, air pollution, nuclear plant safety and operation, and more. In the 80s, EPRI devised, initiated, and oversaw the world's first clean coal plant and started up the industry's first nuclear materials program. In the 90s, EPRI developed and brought to market groundbreaking low-cost variable speed wind turbines, among so many other research projects. Today, EPRI is demonstrating continued leadership as the energy industry works toward a low-carbon future. Our research is considering fundamental changes to how we generate, transmit, and distribute power to achieve a net-zero future. From power generation to environmental protection, power delivery, and new technologies, EPRI remains at the center of it all. EPRI has advanced research for the benefit of society for the past 50 years and will continue to innovate for the next 50 so that energy remains clean, safe, reliable, affordable, and equitable for generations to come.